Hey, what's up guys, this is LG for help today with the iOS 6 beta 1 overview. So as you can see right there, in for my version, I do have iOS 6, and actually I did purchase a UDID slot in order to update to iOS 6 beta 1. Of course, you could do it without the developer's account by just updating to iOS 6 instead of restoring to it, but I would suggest purchasing a UDID slot since um, that way you can upgrade in future updates of betas. So we'll begin with the most noticed features, um, which are, as you can see, first of all, we get a new icon, which is called Passbook, which pretty much works for keeping a track of your credit cards and stuff like that. So if you go ahead and go into application, as you can see, you get boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons. And as I said before, it just works um, to keep you organized or something like that. Uh, although it doesn't work yet, since this is just a beta. So, and next we get some basic UI changes, as you can see the settings icon looks different, and the maps one looks different, and actually now maps is Apple map Maps instead of Google Maps, and I'm gonna be reviewing that a bit later. And also we do get Facebook integration, as well as we did get Twitter integration in iOS 5, and now we do get Facebook integration. So if you go into the Facebook panel, just down below Twitter, as you can see you can install the application from there, you can log in into your account, you can update your contacts and then you can customize some settings so as you can see you get chat and message settings vibrate I guess it's for the iPhone you can play the sound or not play the sound photo and video you can enable recording HD video then you get push notifications uh, and then you get version and you can read about Facebook and all that stuff Next, we get the integration of the jailbreak tweak do not disturb, which as you can see, it's exactly the same named, although the icon did change a bit. And if you enable that, notice that on my status bar, a little moon pops up. And then if you go into notifications, you actually get a panel for do not disturb. So you can configure it there. As you can see, you get, you can just read up a, a, a bit about uh, do not disturb. Then you can schedule and you can change the from and to. So um, as you can see, mine is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. And I can change that by going into here. And then I can just change that. Then you can allow call, calls from no one, everyone, you just your favorites or just all contacts and then you get repeated calls you can disable that or enable that and then you just get your normal notifications as they were in iOS 5 and as you can see now the settings are um, kind of like organized in more sections than they were before we get just for the connections then we get another server notifications we get uh, the basic settings and then we have um, more basic settings such as iCloud, mail, notes, reminders, messages and all that stuff and then we have uh, this other section then we have the Twitter and Facebook section or the social section and then we just have the applications section as before and actually now you do get privacy which if you go into there you'll see location services contacts calendars reminders photos and there you can just customize some different settings as you can see right there and also as you can see in the settings application brightness and wallpaper are actually now combined so there on the top you do get the brightness slider and then if you go into there you can change your wallpapers and actually now with iOS 5 we do get these wallpapers and actually this one is the iOS 5 um, kind of like main wallpaper as you can see that's how it looks actually I do like it a lot but I still prefer the other one so I just, know I just like the this one better I don't know why but so yeah, that's pretty much all for the settings. You still can go into general. And as you can see, you get some minor changes, such as VPN is now um, out of the network section, but you still get accessibility and all that good stuff. So next, if we slide down the notification center, you'll see two new buttons, which are tap to tweet and tap to post. And if I tap on one of them, it's gonna load the tweeting uh, message so I can just type in whatever I want I can click on send I can add my location and this is just pretty much as it was before and also you get you do get a new UI for pretty much uh, um, every application so if you sign in settings as you can see now instead of this being gray and the status bar being kind of white when you're in an application as you can see the status bar is blue and this is kind of like a metallic gray or a lightish blue I don't know um, very good and also if you go into music you get a complete new design as you can see right there that's when you're playing and if you go back to the menu as you can see that's how it looks it does look kind of like a winter board theme and so in my opinion it does look quite cool and so um, if you also go into 
all the applications as you can see they do have that new iOS 6 look which is like um, more bluish instead of gray so camera also has a completely new designed UI as you can see instead of this being white it's now black but all the functions are still the same you get the grid on the iPod touch and on the iPhone you get HDR and you can just snap a photo as before and view it over here and now we also do get a completely new share menu so if I go into the share button as you can see now you do get icons so we have mail twitter facebook um you can assign it to a contact you can print it you can copy it or you can use it as a wallpaper so that is really nice and you also do get features that i cannot show you because this is an ipod touch and not an iphone but the cool ones on the iphone are that you can actually use facetime over 3g which was a ma major issue in ios 5 and um previous versions of ios which do, which did have facetime because you had to use jailbreak tweaks in order to use facetime over 3g to make calls or otherwise it would not work but now you can make facetime over uh, 3g with the iphone and the ipad or with whatever device has facetime and 3g Siri also has and it has first of all it has tons of new different languages and it can open applications it can tell you scores of um, sports and all this good stuff Siri has been a major update in iOS 6. Also this is again for the iPhone but uh, you can have custom options when someone is calling you you can just tap a button and um, it'll have options such as like um, you're not you're busy or just stuff like that and it will respond for you But uh, sorry guys that I can't show you guys because I do not have an iPhone. I just have an iPod touch And I said at the beginning of the video the maps application is now Apple's map It's not Google Maps and uh, first of all you do have a 3d view mode Which for some reason is not appearing for me, but you should see a little 3d thing right here And if you tap on that it'll just turn it into 3d uh, viewing mode but unfortunately that mode just works um i believe in the united states or even not in all the states right there uh but hopefully for uh, in the release of iOS 6 it will be compatible with the whole world but you still have um your normal options right here you can drop the pin you can print it you can show the traffic or you can just choose between the viewing types so thanks for watching this video do you enjoy it and if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below guys know what you think about um, iOS 6 and so yeah and also if you do want to buy a UDI slot I'll provide a video down in the description so um, with the guys that I um, purchased my UDI spot um, you get it um, almost for free and they do explain why and so yeah I would really encourage you guys to do that and so yeah guys I hope you have a really nice day guys and I'll catch you all in my next video